Legends. Duke changed the game, rewrote the rules, and left a global trail of destruction of the status quo. The most anticipated motorcycle of this year, and possibly in recent memory, is the KTM 390 Duke. Top 5 Things You Should Know About the KTM 390 Duke It comes with ABS. The KTM 390 Duke, thanks to new European regulations that mandate them, comes with an anti lock braking system, or ABS. And Bajaj isn't messing around, this is the latest generation of Bosch ABS system. What this means is that no matter how hard, ham-fistedly and downright idiotically you grab the brakes, front or rear, the wheels will not lock and cause dramatic screeching, usually resulting in damage to bones and bike. We believe this is a huge step forward for the Indian motorcyclist, given that most of us refuse to believe, let alone recognize that it is in fact the front brake that is effective in bringing a motorcycle to a stop while the rear can only cause trouble in the wrong hands, feet. ABS will most certainly improve the safety of the 390 in the wet, especially considering that this is the most powerful locally built motorcycle we've ever had access to. Including the Yamaha RD350, it's a calmer motorcycle. Surprising as this may sound, Given that the 390 Duke makes 44 PS compared to the 25 PS of the 200, it is the 390 that will be the calmer, less frantic motorcycle to ride in most situations. That's the magic of more power, it allows you to make the same progress with less work. Whereas the 200 Duke urges the rider to snatch another gear again and again until, rather quickly, she runs out, the 390 Duke scares last longer making rapid progress using less revs. This is down to the revised gearing mated to the far more powerful engine, it comes with the best tires on any Indian bike yet. The 200 Duke introduced us to great tires on a high-performance vehicle. Radial, grey and relatively cheap. However, they did take some getting used to coming from the regular stock we're used to on Indian bikes. Turn-in seemed almost telepathic and the Duke outperformed pretty much everything else on our track tests. There simply wasn't anything better until now, it will be a stiff motorcycle. We were told at the international launch that the suspension settings will be revised for the Indian version of the KTM 390 Duke, the Eurospec one we rode was stiffly sprung, consistent with KTM's sporting ethos. However, we understand that it is only the damping rate that will be revised. There's no other way to put it, this will not be a plush ride. This means that the 390 Duke won't be for everybody, just as the 200 wasn't. It will take a certain type of rider with a certain level of commitment, aggression and skill level to truly enjoy this motorcycle. If you test rode the Duke 200 when it came out and the Went and Bowa CBR 250R, this is still not the bike for you. That being said, it won't be bad to ride on our bad roads, just not pleasing to the largest possible audience.